tu buso no itsit malano tanu minangus taptot namulbans lagbe puyo Mount Iglit Bako Natural Park is an ASEAN heritage park that shelters the largest population of the critically endangered tamarau in the island of Mindoro, Philippines. It is also home to the Mangyan Taobuid tribe, whose large tracts of ancestral domain shares boundaries with the park. Taobuid communities residing inside a protected area are sharing part of their living space with the species and are therefore directly concerned by the conservation measures implemented. The Taobuid suffered decades of intrusion from outsiders, conducting commercial logging, cattle ranching, and trophy hunting, which has heavily degraded their environment until their rights are protected by law. Yet, their traditional land use system and lifestyle is often pointed out as detrimental for the environment, especially their use of fire for their kaingin and recurrent burning of the grassland areas. Ang talagang kahirapan ngayon ng tribo ay sa pagkain. Pang-araw-araw na pagkain dahil nga kulang sa sistema ng pag, uh, pagbubukid. Uh, Kung baga, umaasa na lamang sa kaingin. Wala nang ibang uh, pinagkakakitaan. Ang nangyayari po nito ay parang pumupunta na ang tribo sa pera. Kaya lagi ang takbuhan ng tribo ay utang sa mga Tagalog. Sa baan paniwala, yung mayaw na lahat kay Katanya kaya. Hindi pa rin ako sa tribo, hindi rin ako maniwala hanggat hindi ko nakikita na ganito talaga yung ano, mangyayari. Kaya ang sabi nga ni, si, ni, La, pa, ni Paso, ni Sir, Kaya nga mag, mag-akyat sila sir doon sa estasyon to para uh, alamin lang yung lugar, yung lugar doon sa estasyon to kung pwede siyang gawing ganito. Uh, hindi rin maiwasan yung mga katutubo na matokso na mag-hunt ng uh, mga buhay lang natin katulad ng mga usa, baboy, damo at minsan natutokso rin sila sa tamaraw na sits yan isa sa problema namin. So siguro ang mga alternative na nakikita ko na Kung kailangan, pwede sana bigyan sila ng livelihood o kaya mga agroforestry. The Station 2 Base Camp is the cornerstone of the patrolling activity of the rangers to prevent, document, and react to illegal activities in the Tamarau Range. It is located in a four-hour hike from the park entrance at an elevation of 450 meters. Just like the visitors, the rangers on duty must bring their own food on their own budget thus creating an influx of processed good from the outside, while the park has no system to segregate, recycle, and manage the trash, or to lower this burden on the rangers. This discrepancy, together with the grassland burning, that the DENR practices itself for the purpose of Tamarau counting, makes reluctant the Taubo weed communities to comply with the state policies or trust externally made solutions proposed by NGOs and the government. This is a real challenge and all the strategies that we are trying to do here, focusing on station two, it's to demonstrate that we can increase productivity of food and restore forest cover and habitat in places which are being regularly burned or deforested for decades and decades. By gaining productivity of land, we gain productivity of space available for wildlife and we restore habitat. And by starting by station two and focusing of producing food for the rangers using permaculture approach, we try somehow to attract the attention of the Taubuid communities nearby and do what they call themselves to see is to believe. This is a learning process and uh, an, an action oriented activity. In terms of the ecosystem restoration, we can also learn from it while we are doing it. The Protected Area Management Office has engaged into an audacious strategy in order to address the issues of land use and space use conflict by being the one to initiate changes in its way to do intervention. Together with its local partner from the Daboville Foundation and Demo Farm Incorporated, and guided by the Philippine Permaculture Association, 
they explored regenerative design principles to reshape and enhance the area of Station 2 and nearby grasslands into a farming model for food production and habitat restoration. This would be managed by the rangers for the rangers and invite the residing Taabawid communities to contribute, exchange cultural knowledge, and also train and pick up new practices. This is only the beginning to restore and create the conditions of a sustainable landscape for the rangers, the local indigenous communities, and the biodiversity of Mindoro. <laughs>